Welcome to this week's episode of Love Food Ibiza with me, Tess Prince. We have a, a fabulous section in Love Food Ibiza, all about interviewing DJs. It's called Beats and Eats. Check it out. We've interviewed massive superstar DJs like Carl Cox, Guy Gerber, John Digweed. We interviewed Eats Everything. We know for a fact that his favorite dish of all time is beef stroganoff and cheese strings. Oh my God. So I've decided to do a deconstruction, reconstruction of beef stroganoff, and I'm gonna do it in, in a burger. So there are obviously various components of this dish, and it's probably gonna take me all over the island to get the right ingredients for it. But anyway, I'm gonna give it a go. So I've come down to the local market where I'm gonna be getting some advice from Emilio, my friend and local butcher. Hi, Emilio. Hola. Hola, que tal? For the best burger, I have two meats. Okay. With the best is this: it's it's red meat from Galicia, 16 days of dry age. It's possible this burger and this meat is the, the best burger make in Ibiza in the year uh, in this year. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Forever. Forever. <laughs> no. No. Para siempre, Oh my God. <laughs> That's like a workout. So I've got my meat. Thank you, Emilio. Gracias. And I just need to go and get some ingredients for the sauce. So back from the market, I've got my two kilos of marvellous mince. We just need to marinate that now and make it into a mammoth burger. You need to add shallots. Now, I've used about four shallots here. I've got a really nice smoked paprika. A good level spoon of sea salt. A good generous pinch of ground black pepper. A handful of chives. And I'm just going to snip them. Flat leaf parsley. And then finally some dill. So quite a generous amount with this. Good glug. So I'm giving that a good stir, but I think I need to really get my hands in and get a bit dirty. So now I'm gonna mold the burger. I've got my ruler and I'm gonna make it slightly bigger to overlap because I know that with that level of marbling, all that fat will render down and um, it will shrink a bit. So this is gonna be the scientific bit. So that is looking gorgeous. We've got the chives in there, the caramelized shallots, smoked paprika, parsley, chives, dill, salt and pepper. I'm gonna put some paste on top. And my tray. And oh. And flip, flip, flip. Okay, so burger done. Looking at it, I'm pretty terrified. So I think I'm gonna call on one of the best grill chefs in Ibiza at Balafia and see if he might take up the challenge of cooking it for me. So now on to the second part of the recipe, which is the stroganoff sauce. So two cloves of garlic, then there'll be about three shallots and then the amazing mushrooms that I've got from the market. So I've got my pan, lovely and hot, so in with some olive oil, 20 grams of butter, in with the shallots. So you just want those to slightly caramelize. Now I'm gonna pop in the mushrooms. Those mushrooms will need to cook for at least six minutes or so. Now we've got two um, cloves of chopped garlic. So that needs a couple of minutes. And the next thing to add is just a little bit of flour. I've got some spelt flour here. Now we're gonna add some white wine. So while that's bubbling away nicely, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. And then here I've got some really good quality beef stock. We're gonna add the final bit of spice, which again is paprika, which is the classic component of any stroganoff sauce. So in we go with the paprika. Give that a nice stir. I really hope eats everything is gonna be hungry because this is absolutely delicious. Here, I have the equivalent of a tub of sour cream. That's about 150 grams. Again, don't worry about all the quantities. They're all on the website. So the fabulous sauce is made. The burger's in the fridge. 
So what I need to take are the other elements to the dish to make the perfect burger. I've got some lovely baby gem lettuce and some oak leaf lettuce there, organic. A burger isn't a burger without pickles or gherkins. So these have been pickling with dill, which is another classic ingredient in a stroganoff. So here I've got some amazing pickled cucumbers. So I pickled them in dill, which is gonna be an absolute treat inside this burger. So already when we interviewed Eats Everything about his favorite food, we know that beef stroganoff is his absolute all time favorite dish. But he also said cheese strings are one of his favorite things of all time. And I can't tell you how much I hate cheese strings, but to make him happy, I'm gonna add cheese to the burger, but it's not a cheese string. And thank God I can't get them in Ibiza. A mammoth burger needs to have a special bun. So I'm very lucky and have called upon my friend at La Paloma to make a bespoke burger bun. So we have got the bread. That is a lovely piece of bread. And look, it's soft, but it's got a crust on it. The essential sesame seeds, which every good burger should have. And the size, maybe it is the perfect size. Just down the road is one of the most respected and renowned grills on the island, and that is called Balafia. Thank you, you're helping me. Okay. So you're gonna cook my burger? Yes, no problem. Thank you, is it, is it fire hot? <laughs> yes, it's hot here. <laughs> <laughs> and is the grill big enough for yes. my burger? See? Oh, perfect. Look. Look. Wow. Look inside. Wow, it's melting my face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tony, thank you so much for opening your restaurant early and I know that you're going to be massively busy soon, so we've got to get this burger cooked. OK, thank you, Tess. <laughs> so, how long do you think it's going to take? Well, you have to see the burger, actually. Tony, this is the bad boy. Vale. There's almost two kilos of meat there. <laughs> yeah, are you excited or are you worried about this? Are you scared? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be scared. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey. Hello. How are you? Thank you for coming. Oh, Long. Actually, pleasure. I'm so excited. I'm really excited. And you've got room? I have got room, yes. I haven't eaten really all day, so I'm uh, only at breakfast. And uh, what time is it now? Like half past six, so. Okay. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. And the thing is, your favourite dish of all time is a beef stroganoff. It is, yes. So what I'm doing... My mother's beef stroganoff. I know. I want to hear all about your mum's beef stroganoff. Oh, I'm getting nervous now. Don't be crude. <laughs> So, your favourite dish of all time is beef stroganoff. Yes, so correct. I thought I would deconstruct it and reconstruct it wow. into a, a burger. So today... Probably my two favourite meals. Okay. Yeah, that's no, probably burger and beef stroganoff. My two favourite meals, you combine them. Before we check out this burger, I'm just wondering, can Eats Everything eat everything? This is the challenge. So Eats, come and have a look at this bad boy burger. Bloody hell. <laughs> size of that. That's ridiculous. Have you ever seen a burger that big? I definitely haven't seen it, but even the man versus food guy couldn't eat that, but I will, I'll give him my best. Oh, shot. really? Yeah, oh, I wow. Don't think, I don't know, I'm not, that is massive. So I'm just going to lead you through. So I've got this amazing stroganoff sauce, it mushrooms. Like, it smells like stroganoff Good. sauce. Yeah. yeah. And then I've made homemade uh, dilled pickles. Lovely, perfect, perfect though. And then we got mustard. Do you have mustard yes, on your yeah, burger? Of course. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've got lettuce as well, and that's the Mahon cheese. Uh, so Mahon, that. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've had that before. So that is your cheese string. That's my cheese string. That's the substitute for cheese string. That's your substitute for cheese string. <laughs> Have you been to Balafia? I've actually, I've actually not been to Balafia before. I've, I've heard about it loads and I lived, I've lived here for six months now, but sadly I've not been here. But now is my, uh, but I may come back on Saturday night because it's my anniversary, so. Okay. okay. <laughs> and your wife likes some meat? My wife loves meat. <laughs> So we're going to cook this bad boy. You go and sit next to Dan. Touch his Relax. Neck. Yeah, touch, touch him up. Do yeah. whatever you want to do. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years for this. Oh, and, we're <laughs> and we'll get you a beer, and then we're going to do the hard work. Vamos? Yeah, go on. I'm going to just watch. Look at that. I'm going to arrange a little burger bar here. Get all organised with my garnish. So I've got my lovely oak leaf lettuce and baby gem. And most men like onion, so I've 
Got some sliced red onion there. Got my mustard, my pickles. I'm going to grate that in a minute when Tony gives me the, the wink that he's ready. Oh, Tony. Can I put this on the fire? Yes. No problem. Do you think this is OK? Okay. We're going to... No problem. Yeah? Tony, tell me about Balafia. How how long has this been open? Uh, it's open 33 uh, years. 30 years? 30, 33 years. 33 years. Yes. I think we're ready. You're ready now. Wow, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I would give you high five, but you have no hands. High five! <laughs> well wow. And then we'll just put it back inside for one minute. So we're going to put some mustard on there. Well, maybe you should spread your own mustard. OK, let's spread it. That's, this is not the first time I spread mustard. <laughs> we can make an innuendo out of anything. You like lettuce? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to put some mixed lettuce. Do you like onion? Yes. So burger has arrived. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at, the size Look at that. And we've got to just add the gherkins and the sauce. I don't like celery. I don't like cucumber. I don't like um, par parsley. Is a thing I hate most in the world. Right. Or well, not the thing I hate. The food I hate most in the world. What par really, parsley? I actually have to physically spit it out. Gherkins on there, and now. Finally, with the, the sauce. sauce. The stroganoff sauce. It's good, right? So, <laughs> so on with the sauce. On with the top. I think I'm going to have somewhat of an audience whilst we eat this, because there's a, a fair few people watching this bad boy made. Yeah, and actually feel the way. I, I'll carry it over, but just check that out. <laughs> oh, no. No, this is yours. Oh. <laughs> I can't pick that up. I'm going to have to cut it. Can into you try and pick it up? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we got to give Tony a piece. Tony, this is your piece right here. Eats. I know that you're up for the challenge. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it good? It's good. Really good, isn't it? It's very good. Really tasty. You like that cheese? Yeah, really good. Do you think you can move away from the cheese string now? Mm. I'm never going to give cheese string up, but I can I can put it on the back seat. I'm actually going to give this a go you myself. It's fucking lovely. It actually amazing. tastes like stroganoff. Yeah, it does taste no, like no. stroganoff. And the meat, the quality of the meat is mm. amazing. So after that, I think we know who's the, who's the best grill chef on the island. <laughs> thank are right so here. thank you thank so you. much, Tony. Thank you. Oh, OK. I'm so happy Gracias, that you Tony. did that. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. darling. Mucho, mucho gracias. Delicioso. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I've, I've got to let you into a little secret. What secret? There was parsley in there. Fuck off. <laughs> you couldn't taste it. You couldn't taste it. I hate parsley. I fucking hate parsley. That was a, you that couldn't really, tell. You couldn't that tell. That was the ingredient. That swung it for me. Yeah, really. The parsley was the ingredient. That was that. what made it the best Oh, really? Maybe, maybe I do like parsley. <laughs> so you love this burger. I did. Do you know what? You can recreate that at home because really? the recipe is on the website. Bloody and hell. you can scale it down. What is the website address? It's lovefoodabitha.com. Yep. It's closing party weekend coming yeah. up. Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes, actually yes. going to come out. Oh. I'm so happy. I'm oh, so happy. If you think you can tackle making this burger, check out our recipe on lovefoodabitha.com. 